Hello and welcome to my first video demonstration of the new World of Warcraft pet battling system. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is the uh, just the menu, the new menu that we have for specifically for this combat system. If you'll notice, I have a list of pets that are usable for combat on the left side of my screen. Now, uh, even though I have a lot more pets than this on live. They didn't actually transfer over to the beta, so all of these pets are pets I've just recently acquired, either by purchasing them off of vendors or by actually capturing them via the pet battle system. Now, I am I have a pet that's at level five, which has me, which allows me to use three different pets currently. So I have a rabbit type. I have a rabbit first. His name is Peppy. Uh, Peppy is a critter type. Now, critter types uh, have a particular. Now, there's type. Before I even get into that, there's specific types of pets that you can use. Critters, if you'll see, take an additional 50% damage from beast abilities, but 33% uh, damage less from humanoid abilities. So just like Pokemon, there are type advantages and type disadvantages in the pet battling system for World of Warcraft. Now, Peppy is my newest pet. He's only level 2, so I'm going to be currently like uh, training him up a little bit uh, out in Dunmoreau. I chose uh, Dunmoreau because it's a lot less crowded than Elwyn Forest is right now on beta. I have two other uh, pets as part of my, uh, my pet battling crew. I have my uh, Cornish Rex, Rexy, and my small frog, Quentin. Now, the, each of these pets also have random uh, stats that they get also as part of their... Uh, it's called like a quality stat. And you get these just randomly uh, whenever you capture something. So pet Quentin is actually a rare pet. Uh, he I don't actually know exactly what that means just yet. I'll probably be probably have a uh, an explanation for that as I uh, get bit more and more uh, more and more of a better understanding of the pet battling system. Okay, so finding wild pets is actually pretty easy. You get like a little tracker that actually finds them for you out on your mini map. Uh, you can just find a pet, like in this case there's a little snow cub out here. And I'm just going to find him and I'm going to open initiate combat with him. Then the pet battling system menu opens up. It's a uh, turn based system with uh, up to four moves for each pet. My first ability that I just use is something called Adrenaline Rush, which deals damage but also increases my speed to make sure that Peppy gets the uh, first blow in all of the future, uh, future engagements. Now the Snow Cub is a beast type, so he does additional damage to Peppy, so it's actually real tough for Peppy to actually beat this guy. See, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that like snow the Snow Cub will, get, will actually beat Peppy if I leave him out there too long. So I'm going to swap to uh, Rexy, because Rexy is also a beast type. And with a single swipe, Rexy will probably be able to finish off the Snow Cub. And there you go. Now, just like Pokemon, you have a list of pe you have a list of pets in your party. And because I had Peppy out there for just a moment, he actually got to share in the experience of uh, even though Rexy was the one that actually finished off the opponent. When you, in between battles, your pets don't regenerate health automatically. They only regenerate health uh, after a successful battle, and it's not their entire health pool. So if you lose pets, or if you have them damaged in between battles and you would like to heal them up, just go to any Stable Master. So I'm here at the Stable Master in Karanos, and you have this little option that says you'd like to heal and revive your battle pets, and it only costs a small fee of 10 silver. Keep your feet on the ground. So you could think of these Stable Masters as kind of the Pokemon centers of the pet battle system. Alright, and like I said earlier, there is a huge list of pets that you can actually use in the pet battling system. Most of you will already have a significant number of battle pets that are already available for use. You, you can see that they range in like from huge like um, varieties. You've got the, the clockwork robot bot. You've got all sorts of different sorts of rare birds. The, the, the list is just enormous. I mean, look at this. And again, every single one of these, every single one of these pets has a type to it. And these types are all uh, these types are all like uh, just like uh, just like elemental types in Pokemon. You can sw they swap out. And they each have their own advantages and disadvantages. There's also the ability to actually trade your pets. Uh, uh, one of the I was just going to give you a quick example of how you actually do that. So I captured this fawn earlier. What you do if you want to trade it is you go right click and you go down to where it says uh, put in cage. So you put this pet in the cage and now you've got 
pets as items that you can actually trade with other players. Now you'll see that both of these fawns are considered poor, so they're not actually very strong pets. Now I'm not quite sure just yet if that's because fawns are just a weak pet in general, or just because the ones that I captured were actually considered weak. And like I said, they vary in, in rarity. Quentin here is rare. Meanwhile, both, uh, both my cat and my rabbit are both considered common pets. So here's my first uh, player duel between uh, this is guy with a who's using a ghost out first actually. So it's going to be Peppy versus his Crux, which is a level seven spider. See so that Crux has this web ability that really hurt me. I really like the music for these pet battles. So this guy was clearly higher level than me, but I didn't actually know because the only person he had out was that ghost. And that ghost is actually really ridiculous. <laughs> I, uh, that ghost has like some sort of healing ability that he was using. This, this whole system is still very new to me, and I don't have a very good understanding at all just yet of all the different pet types. Because like I said, there is a huge number of pets that you can actually use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this demonstration of the pet battling system. I'll probably be uploading a few more as they become more and more intense. I mean, this is only like the first couple levels, and none of my pets are above level 5 just yet. I'm pretty sure that it will get far more complicated and more in-depth as you continue uh, leveling up your pets. So until next time, this is KT Vindicare.